Hey everybody, welcome back. I thought we had some pretty, some pretty, pretty good uh, runs in the last episode. We're at least getting a little bit more interesting with it. I'm, I've, I'm back on my BS, and my BS is purchasing the fish. Like I again, I'm gonna be just like a witty Clementine or whatever, like an annoying orange, but like um, not annoying, I guess. What a shot! Thank you. Um, I think that the the one one from the fish most weeks is not worth the stats that you don't get by buying it because it's understated relative to other tier one units. But this week, I think that stats are so important and hard to come by, probably there's some relation there, that, um, wow, this is a strong team. I, I really thought we couldn't lose that one, but that, that the one one broadly actually seems more valuable. Now, whether or not we'll actually get it remains to be seen. I think, um, I think I like this. We didn't spend anything on rolls, which is nice. We're going to run some anti-moth at the front just in case, because it, it sucks to have your best unit blown out by like two crappy units, one of which is just a tier one moth. Any questions? Well, instead we got blown out uh, right after that. But what we really want to do with this squad is add a bear. Interesting. And I am kind of, you know what? I think for now I could get away with just having a shrimp. I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm dipping my fingers in a couple of different pies. A bear would hit the spot if we don't get a bear. You know, we sell some units and get some HP scaling in the form of our shrimp. If we do get a bear, like our aardvark starts to look like it can maybe get something done. Maybe. So I like this. This is, this took us a little longer than I would have liked, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and say we sell it now. And then give me a 2-6 armadillo. And you know what? Toss the armadillo a little bit of extra. A little bit of extra. And I'm looking at it now and I'm like, okay, maybe this is how we get HP scaling. Maybe we get HP. This is going to be miserable. <laughs> maybe we get HP scaling via an armadillo. Never mind. This is going to be incredible. And then we just focus on buffing the attack of all the units. Maybe the armadillo is part of the secret sauce this week. I don't know. I don't know. I would take my level just to take and then see where we stand. I'm going to keep you around. I'm going to roll. Okay, I'm going to make some enemies. I'm going to give up on this armadillo dream. I'm going to really try to get some HP scaling going. Holy cow. <laughs> I'm going to add you to the squad, Toot Sweet. Freeze one of you. Roll. And ro oh, we should have maybe de definitely kept the chinchilla. But So it's an interesting look. It's interesting, the, the armadillo here, wouldn't you say? I certainly I see some interest here. Okay, this, this is painful. It's not as much HP scaling as I wanted. I, I got half as much HP scaling from twice as many of you as I deserve. Bilbo Baggins, remember that? Ten times Bilbo Baggins eviscerated his audience at his 1100th birthday. Maybe the Falcon's not it. Maybe we, maybe we go all in on HP scaling. And we go sell me. And we go sell me. And we roll. And we level and go four squatted. You never know what kind of unit they could spit out. You know what? At the very least, of the units available, the Rhino is the one that makes the most sense. Just because his stats are the best. Maybe with the HP scaling that comes from a, a big-ish armadillo, it stands a chance to do a little damage. I mean, I would say that accomplishes the dictionary definition of a little damage. Whether or not the Rhino is going to get where we need it to go is a different story, but... Like, something has to stick around to benefit from the stats we're getting. So we might... I, I think you keep the Rhino for now. And if it inherits some stats, then, then great, honestly. Now, the, the Armadillo, let's just give it the ambient stats. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a buy-sell. It's basically like we bought a random peach, which is not good, but it is something. <laughs> it's 
It's like I, maybe maybe garlic on the rhino would have hit here. I mean, this is a weird looking squad. I don't think that anyone would be surprised to hear me say that. And yet, would you look at that? Somehow, oh, that's going to be a big peacock. <laughs> that's a problem. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Or is it? Or actually, we're going to win. That's crazy. Big shrimp at the back. Who would have thought? Three wins, okay. I am looking. I'm, I'm looking for what I'm looking for here. So what do we want to? We probably want to sell you. Any bit of HP is is relevant here, but like the armadillo obviously is the most important. Rhino is probably second, but even the extra buffs on the maybe try this for a turn. The extra buffs on the mosquito are not bad, man. I'm ignoring the monkey just because every time we take it, I always go, it's too slow. Like, I think this monkey's going to take us to 10. Oh, we lost three in a row. It's too slow. Never take it ever. Hold on. Hold. Hold. I suppose we could use some more attack power, huh? We're so very close, but we couldn't get past the giraffe. Okay, I mean this is this is a scary it's a scary time for me. I'm still gonna give it a shot. The turtle does just doesn't make sense. It's just not doing enough attack. If anything, like a scorpion second might go off here if it doesn't get killed immediately. I'm gonna go a little crazy mode. And I'm gonna add you on top again as well. This doesn't look like a team that's winning round ten, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, my god! I should have taken the monkey! That's just a strong team, honestly. Okay, so what was that, three wins? I would describe that as pretty bad. <laughs> it's okay. Run it back. I don't know, the armadillo, I, I still can't get it out of my head that it, it might stand a chance of being a semi-useful unit. Ooh, let's run back the same thing that screwed us last time. Yeah, an adorable dumpling. You see them sometimes. You ever see these Miyazaki movies like uh, Turning Red? The Mondu looks, in, sorry, it's not Mondu. The, um, what is a Chinese dumpling called? Gyoza is Japanese, Mondu is Korean. Mantu? Am I, am I, am I, am I going, am I, am I going down a bad, Monty? Am I going down a bad path here? I'm trying to think of, of menus I've seen before. Is it, like, Shaolong Bao, those are like soup dumplings. Bao is dumplings, but they're more like a bun, really. I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm out of my element here. Maybe I'm embracing tranquility. It's my water bottle, relax. I don't know, I'm not like other people out there. I don't know, like, dude, I need water, like, I'm gonna just say it, I think I need water, like, say four to eight glasses a day, ideally, like enough to have me feeling feeling good. I'm like, I'm, I'm borderline addicted to this stuff. It goes crazy, man. And if you haven't tried it, I would really recommend trying it cold. It's so much more refreshing. I know if you've been drinking like lukewarm water, Give it a try. Put some ice cubes in it, have a straw, or just get it out of the fridge or something like that. Man, I'll tell you, it, it goes a little different. Let's see what we got here. So now I'll add you, and I'll see if we get an aardvark. We gotta be... Okay, okay fine. We have to be a little afraid now, because if we go up against an enemy team that has an aardvark and we don't, we're in for a very naughty time. <laughs> be very not good for business. This feels like a win to me with that with that extra B at the back. Hell's minion, huh? Okay, well, I'm happy. First win. It wasn't uh, like a ton of style points on it, but it's it's got something. And we didn't get anything we're really looking for here. Let's just let's go all in on the on the fish. Really looking for an aardvark. I think it's the sort of thing you you can afford to wait around a minute for it. Oh no, they've got an aardvark, but their aardvark is but it and you see though never mind okay 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 lucky i gotta thank my moths for that one 
I think we got it early enough. We have to take the llama. And I think, because you, you, you need four units, I think we would sell the fish. No, I, th I think we would sell the beetle. It's going to be a controversial decision. The reason I think you would sell the beetle is because the fish, if we see two fish in a shop, we'll get a nice buff. Whereas the beetle, even though it has one more HP, it's not going anywhere after that. Let's be real. There's one of them already. I think I'm, I'm okay with this. I have no idea how to feel about the team, but it actually, I think it feels pretty good because the llama is kind of like, it's like a self monkey, right? <laughs> if you'll forgive the loose verbiage. Seems like a draw. Like it's the unit and the scaler built into itself. We should have waited a turn on that. That's, that's not debatable. So what's sticking around, what's leaving? I'll just be completely honest with you. I have no idea. Give me a two cost targeted salad. You kiss your mother with, with that mouth? Two cost targeted salad, what'd you just call me? Freeze this. Maybe a garlic on the fish if it's, it shouldn't stick around, but maybe it will. I don't know. Like, if you spend three gold on a garlic and then you end up winning the round but selling the unit, that's not a loss. That's like you bought a defensive cupcake, I think. That's how I'm choosing to think about it. That's unfortunate. That's, yeah, we're not, we're not beating the big jellyfish. I haven't been able to really make jellyfish work this week because I think it all comes down to shop luck. But if you get a good one and you get it early enough, like, you're, you're cruising. I'm going to say don't invest in these units. I'm going to say they're approaching a dead end. I don't think you can make an aardvark work on this, on this tiny squad. Sorry. Very nice. Really, really nice. I'm, if, if nothing else, I'm very grateful for the fact that we're going to get the chance to at least get a level 2 llama. Even if it is only for a, a modicum of time. Oh my god, this is the jellyfish panda scaling. You deserve this, okay? Try to get a big jellyfish going on my watch. I don't think so. Get llama on. Now this is just, we, we just take those. I do feel like we could use a, a, a sniper, particularly like a lynx or something. Because we, we're going to run into problems versus mosquitoes. I also feel like th that's very nice. And then a lemon on our uh, on our al alpaca instead of a garlic. We start to think maybe, just maybe there's a chance. I mean, like I'm, I'm saying like, ooh. <laughs> maybe a seal after we get the fish leveled too. I know we got a lot frozen here. It's going to it's going to get a little weird. This would be a nice round to get some space, like to not get Why do I have garlic on my fish? I'm realizing I'm overriding it with the freaking honey. It, this is a great round to not lose, and it appears that that's going to come to pass. Wonderful news. Now we've got some space to play around a little bit because we still got two life left. Very interesting. So I think we level you. I love it. An 8-8 eight, eight or an 11-7 that overwrites equipment. I gotta be honest, we're going 8-8 eight, eight garlic there. We're buying a seal. We're giving the seal a lemon to, to distribute some more buffs. And we are looking for another seal. If I didn't see it myself, I wouldn't have believed it myself. There, there's a chance here. No scorpions. No scorpions. Joker. So, what did we learn? We need anti-scorpion technology. This doesn't kill the scorpion. Please hit the seal. Thank you so much. This doesn't kill the scorpion. We just gotta keep you, go you going. We gotta keep the stats going. It doesn't kill the scorpion if it's like in position three, but it most scorpions won't be. Hold on, immediately vindicated. I am the greatest sap player of all time. 
immediately pay dividends, not feeling like a dummy, feeling like a genius. Oh no, everybody, everybody be cool, okay? I need you to be cool because we're on six wins. <laughs> so I just need you to chill the heck out, okay? Just need you to relax a little bit. Our llama is almost maxed, which means we can start running a fifth unit. Very exciting, very exciting stuff. No scorpion. Oh no, this is like the anti thing that I just did. It's not good. It's not good. We made it. Now if we run up against a peacock, we want to have a llama in the front. The anti-scorpion technology is, is anti-anti-peacock. He's right, you know. Okay, you get out of here. This, this is a big buy right here. This is very solid. Nice, solid, tight. Okay, you're... I would let you go for one more round unless I saw something. Well, you know what? If I'm being real with you, a sauropod now, even though it screws up llama scaling for one turn, to be able to buy like one extra food per turn because of the sauropod is, is a much greater buff, especially, especially cumulatively. Okay, that actually, the bee saved us there. It's been a freaky week for like interactions like that, but I'm thankful to still be alive here. We're on seven. Give me some. Hold on, just checking. Oh, hello. Hi. I think she said, let's go. She was very excited. She's picking up the package. I'm gonna replace lemon with garlic just cause it gives us a, a, a buff and some money back. Salad, I don't know if I would go that far. Uh, soft ice, on the other hand, I would go exactly that far. More soft ice and perhaps a melon armor in the future. Please, please, <laughs> please, 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 please. They got their own big llama, dude. But you know what? We're chilling. Which we made it. We made it through that one. Okay. Eight wins, please, please, please. Look, dude, the buffs are getting kind of serious too. I'm not giving you popcorn. We don't have anything to sell at this point to feed you. Like, you, you've done your part. You've made every other unit indispensable. Soup, soup him. You didn't soup him! You had one job. You just gotta eat, eat the soup, Napoleon. Wait, this team doesn't look that scary. This team looks beatable. Is this a mirage? It looks very beatable. I'm, I dare not say the thoughts that are entering my mind right now. Replace this with this. This with this. Keep it going. I would say let's add a little bit of this on top. And you know what? While we're here, I mean, three gold for a random 2-2. Two -two on mega lethal. Sign me up, brother. <laughs> Maybe a little bit out of the box for some people, but I'm a creative thinker. As an empath, I know what the seal needed, and the seal needed more lemon. Okay, I see, I see applicable weakness, and that does not please me. That's bad. We are doing it. I didn't believe it could happen. Our long saga has come to an end. Ten wins. The seal vindicated, the llama venerated. With the fist pump. And that'll do it. Okay, what a what an unbelievable performance. Feels amazing. Let me be a disgruntled doggy. Getting a little disgruntled myself. Is that when your stomach hurts a little bit and you you it, it's only alleviated when you eat food? No, I'm being told that that's hunger. I, who knew? Who knew? That, that's what hunger feels like for you guys? Who knew? This is not, and, and I, I'm acknowledging this from the get-go. This is not efficient use of our money, but I would rather buy some units that like I feel like have a shot in the future. I mean, we did just get the 10 with a moth, but the moth was kind of 
wasn't completely secondary to what was going on on the run, but it, it wasn't... It wasn't not secondary either. It wasn't, you know... The Maz ability was not the critical element for us. Early Blobfish? I would, uh, I would add it, actually. I know we can't kill it, but... It is a 2-2. Two, two, it's a 2-4 unit that buffs a unit 2-2. Two, two. I know, I'm, I'm going cross-eyed a little myself. Okay, I, I love their pug strats here. I gotta, I gotta give it up for their pug strats. We're lucky to get a draw. We're kind of adrift on this one early, but it's also pretty early on. I would say, maybe don't take the level this time. Maybe maybe take this investment here because we really want to level up on turn five instead if we can if we can swing it. Why don't you take a croissant? Even though attack is not really usually a problem for a ladybug, we need to find something to spend three gold on. Maybe, you know, a few permanent attack before we replace it. It's not bad. It's not, this is not bad at all. Not bad in the slightest. Okay. It's a big round. This is important. I think you, you have to, um... Yeah, the end. Like, I, I think you just have to. We got a lot of units that can go. That's uh, actually like a privilege compared to what we had last time. And we can feed our llama in order to make our ladybug stronger. So, like, you can go. And I add you. And then, like, you can go. Then we have six gold. And then let's give you some of this. And let's give... I, I'm, I'm honestly thinking we could just buff the ladybug on this one. It, it, just because uh, the llama is going to buff itself. We got a lot of available space here, that which made me think that we may we'll run Shrimp Scampi. But realistically speaking, the mosquito and the blobfish are gone. We just need to figure out what to replace them with. I would replace a blobfish straight up with a giraffe. First, I would like to buy a salad just because it has the best chance to hit the units we want it to hit. Then I would I would buff our llama even further beyond. Toad is really good. I still feel like maybe just a, a salad next round though might even two sal. It's not well. Eh, you know, now that I think about it, I'm like pears would be better off now. But I don't think it's a huge mistake to have frozen like one extra salad. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna squirt some. I'm not gonna cry about it or whatever. Still living, still living. You're gonna get a little stronger, but you, there's no way you're getting past my ladybug here. I'd really, more than anything else, I want to see more llamas. Quick level two llama would hit the spot. I think the mosquito has to go. So I think it's a good time to like sell it, then you sell it up, then you sell it up. Let's not add a links just yet because we don't know, we don't know what the future holds in store. Chicken's also very good, of course. Should have frozen the other mole, but... For round seven, I think this team is pretty good. Obviously, the Lynx is going to be a little inhibited by the fact that... Um, we're only able to have four units on the squad for a long time, so that in and of itself is going to lower the Lynx's damage. The units we do have will probably end up being stronger as a result. I think we'd love to see Garlic to put on our, uh, our Ladybug, honestly. Okay, extra Llama. Very important. Still very pleased with this. Don't really want to buy... Like, Pineapple, yes, but I, I don't really want to buy... Um, any peaches in a world where pears and salads exist? One twenty-one twenty-four unit. What do we don't? What do we not want to see? Toads. Toads on the enemy team. It's very negative for our for our business prospects right now. Level three blobfish. Oh, we got so lucky. <laughs> and our ladybug could have finished the job, but we got we got a little arithmetic a little arithmetic luck as is. I would say take this. Take this. Take this. I don't know if we'll stick with the giraffe. I, I need to know. Like Mark Anthony. 
I think we might consider a stew here as well. We got 15 gold worth of stuff frozen. That's that's for sure. <laughs> but still, the squad's looking it's looking kind of greasy with it. Looking looking pretty greasy with it, dude. Dude, if you get an, a llama on level up early this week, you absolutely have to take it. It's non-negotiable. You know what I'm thinking. This is the same thing I was thinking uh, last time. A seal goes like a little pog crazy on this team, right? And the one thing I will say, we're going to we're going to deviate from normal seal behavior. We're going to put a lemon on our llama ASAP. But like even though we've only got we, we don't have the, the like the last time the seal kind of occupied is when well, maybe it was our fourth unit. I forget what our fifth unit was last time. Anyway, long story short, I'm just going to try to spin you a yarn about how this isn't exactly the same run, but it it largely is. <laughs> But uh, can you blame me after what I've been through this week? This is like the, the end of uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. You're like, what is it all about, Quentin? I've been here for 174 minutes. And then in the last 20, you're like, oh, okay. You lovable so-and-so. Okay, hit everybody but the, but the seal. But I'm, I'm not trying to be like upset about that or whatever. It's only round 11. We got a pretty solid looking squad. Don't, don't do me like that. Dude, this is good. Wait, are we, are we legit on nine wins? Holy cow. <laughs> do you see what I see? I don't think I'm worried anymore about um, llama scaling. Like it's almost there. Buy this. Buy this. We're scaling everything. Like, the llama will still get scaled ambiently. And then just add in a, a little tiger action. I'm not naive enough to think that, like, we got this one in the bag. Obviously, the situation's looking pretty nice, pretty optimistic for us, but... You didn't kill the scorpion, huh? You didn't... You, you, just, you just couldn't do it, huh? You just couldn't shoot the scorpion there. Um, that's okay, no big deal. It just cost us the game. Still... I love it. I love it. I, I still think this is the play, and I think this is the play. And I, I love the scaling, and I'm not afraid to say it. I don't, I'm not a, whoever. You, you know what? If you don't love that I love the scaling, that's a problem you need to look within yourself to, to tease it apart, okay? Please. Bust some equipment wide open. Congrats, dummy. You killed all their scalers. What is that supposed to do for me? Okay. Champagne for my real friends. Real pain for my sham friends. This one's starting to get a little, a little dicey. Miss the seal. It's a little painful. We need to continue scaling, but this is lethal. Okay, well we gotta continue scaling. Then there's no, there's no two ways around it. Please, please I've been through so much. <laughs> Ooh, it's a four squatted team. Little rooster, little rooster hanging out back. No, 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 no! Bro, this weekly is so, is, is a soul crusher. Hey, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!